What nice weather. A perfect day to play football. Although, I couldn't sleep well last night. I'm still totally exhausted. I got it. I'll head to the port. It should be a nice change of scenery. Ah, it's so beautiful here. Okay. And with a yo-ho-ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. Uh, we can't even go back to our own dorm at the moment, but uh, yes, in the last episode we met our team properly and Ricardo and Terry had a bit of a shoot down in the previous episode. Um, in this one we're going to head to the yacht port and see how the third day of the timeline pans out. See, it's one day for one episode. It definitely won't stick to that regime going forward. So we'll have a quick look at the inner link again before we carry on. We do love uh, reading all of this. So this was uh, sent to us in the previous episode just before we had to meet up with Victor for a chat. But they're just saying beef curry. S starting simple, of course. Um, so we're getting roadblocked here. Again, if you didn't already go into the dorms uh, to have a look at the... Well, to take photographs of everything in our fellow teammates' rooms then please don't don't forget to do that snooping. There may even be some photo opportunities in here. Again, at, at this point of the game, we cannot even recruit characters, but we're already uh, fiending for characters' as recruitment items just because, I don't know, Inazuma 11 has made me just a tad obsessive with <laughs> checking every spare corner of the room when I'm just in this type of game. It's like, oh, well, that's a uniquely... Look at, this, look at this purple flower. I've got to walk up to it and mash A just in case it's a photograph. Um, what about in, inside of here? Uh, this check-in desk, this laptop, all of it could be a photo. You don't know. I couldn't possibly remember off by heart where um, all of them are. But what I do know is that over here we have a garden cafe that will let you buy a cheese croissant. You know what? I'll have that because I could uh, <laughs> I could kind of go for one of them right now. That sounds really nice. And we've got a vanilla donut. We're in there, lads. We've got a croissant and a donut. Arian Sherwin will not go hungry tonight. Falco! Every Super Smash Brothers melee tournament player ever. Hey, Falco! You're training this early? I'm warming up right now. Do you want to join in with my training, Captain? Excuse me. Actually, I was just taking a walk. Uh, one question. Do you find football fun? Yeah, I love football. It's more than just a ball to run after. It carries the emotions of your team. I've learned my role on this team as a forward. Your role on the team? To break through the opposing defence and to score goals. It's great. Yeah, that's the function of a striker. Which is the same thing as a forward, just, I don't know, I wanted to make it sound like you'd messed up or something. Athletics is an individual sport, you just have to set goals. But football is different, there's still many things I have to learn. Oh yeah? Football is all about the harmony of the players on the team. Since I met Ricardo and Victor, a lot of things changed, and a lot of things happened. All of this makes me want to love football even more. If you love football, it will never let you down. Never! It will never run around and desert you, I can guarantee that! I see. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to go! Let's become strong together, we can go hand in hand, Falco! Of course, Captain. And if I've got to go, then that means the player's got to go as well. Oh, Falco's coming with us, alright. <laughs> and we've a Maiwa mode back to the door that we started at. I mean, we never really um, investigated this to its fullest. Um, tell you what. Football! That's a thing that happens in this game, right? <laughs> That's a direct quote from Arian, by the way, <laughs> in any one of the games. Just football! Uh, what's what's the exact one I'm thinking of? Just... Yeah, when he goes back to, uh, in Chrono Suns, when he goes to Nobunaga's time period and he sees, like, uh, yeah, the, uh, Katsu's brother, Tasuke and all that, and just sees them playing Kamari, just goes, FOOTBALL! Oh, it's, I can't believe it's been so long since the Chrono Suns Let's Play that I can, like, reflect on it and stuff. Well, I mainly wanted to get into a match because we've not taken a shot with Ricardo yet. Fortissimo Foot costs... 20 TP now? 
like it used to be 40-ish. Now it's only 20, and the total power was 62. And um, the goalkeeper swatted it away with her bare hand. They went hard on nerfing Fortissimo. I mean, sure, it's it's affordable for the for the early game, but it's also one of only three shots we have altogether. And because it failed to score, we're now in a spot of bother here because we've got to force Terry to make his first save of his life. And overall, you're forcing me to maybe hit one of the gimmick buttons here. You know, uh, Victor, Ricardo, Arian, they can all go for a fighting spirit should I need to rely on that, but I, I, I feel like that would be some kind of personal defeat. I mean, I still need to show off how armor-fying works, so I have a legitimate excuse to showcase that, but let's just... Let's just win, because I went into this football match entirely of my own accord just to show how nerfed Fortissimo Foot is. I didn't think it would actually get to the point of not scoring against a barehanded uh, catch, but here we are. If you want to check a move's power level, then I'm going to have to just make sure that the menu for it doesn't contain any spoilers for other moves first, but... Um, I'm going to go into Info, I'm going to go into Moves and Auras, and let's see if it is spoiler free or not. Okay good, so this is just the four shooting moves we've been entitled to so far. So, far. so we've got Doom Sword Slash at 15 TP and it's 40 power. Doom Dive Drive is still useful, that's uh, the same as it's ever been, 100 power. Good chain shot for combining it with other moves. Fortissimo Foot! <laughs> is 50 power and that is Ricardo's only shot as well he can't mixy max with Nobunaga and go for ephemeral boost or anything like that he's stuck with this and if you want him to have a good move now you have to give him one through a manual and it's really sad they didn't need to go that hard on him uh, Zephyr shot is of course not that strong either log roll really going hard on the guy Adekebe uh, Hyper Swiper has been nerfed, Power Spike was never great to begin. Yeah, pretty much every move we've looked at has in some form become weaker now. Um, but uh, at least we can pick up a ball and dribble it around, you know? <laughs> That'll make up for it, right, Rick? Um, I think we've just kicked that out of bounds, testing the bounds physics. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this up by default while we... Ignore a tutorial about the stun gauge. That's something that the goalkeepers have to keep in mind. If they uh, have barely stopped something that's just that bit too strong, then they're going to get stunned and then be a tad useless. But uh, Terry was actually being the one guy in that football battle who was actually being quite dependable. So <laughs> let's just bring an end to this diversion and let's actually head to the Seaside Stadium to see uh, what everybody wanted from us. We've I've had a good look around uh, Odaiba Central Square already, but it's still, it's a very Olympic village is the kind of vibe I get, just just with a Ferris wheel in the background. Do get used to doing this walk though, because you're going to be doing it, uh, well, quite a bit. Oh, we can't get past this cycling rack, dearie me. So into the into the stadium we go. And what awaits. So, who are we talking to again? Ah, yes, Mr. Sheepwood. Time to remember that you exist. It looks like we're all here! Let's start today's training. Our opponent for the first round of the Asian qualification phase is the South Korean team, Fire Dragon. Their star player is Jong, Ju Jong Yun Lee. Well, maybe I should have practiced that even once before attempting to read it out loud. Now I look like a terrible person. He's the captain and a powerful striker to boot, because all captains have to be forwards. He leads the team, and thanks to his instructions, the players quickly run to the opposing goal. They're quick. Can we, um, can we say that that mispronunciation was canonically Sheepwood and not me, please? So they're known for fast running. If you want to win, you'd better train hard. 
Right, so good job we've got you as our coach and trainer and stuff. Like, that's advice that we never would have worked out otherwise. Falco, you have a visitor! Skip, Chip! Falco! We've come to see you train! Oh yeah? You know, your brother improved quite a lot. You did? Great! Oh, I knew it, Chip. Bert was laughing at us. Who's that? Bert? You mean Bert the neighbour? Yeah, he made fun of you. The other day when we saw the game, he said you were a miserable player who couldn't even dribble. <sighs> How dare he? Please, Falco, you must score a goal for us. Skip. Chip. Hi, you're Falco's brothers, right? Yep! Your brother's been training really hard. I hope that you can help us with the game against South Korea. Sure! Of course! <laughs> well, Falco, take your time. Inazuma <laughs> だれかに聞かれたらまずいだろう。大人には上辺だけの関係が大事なんだ。分かってるな。うん、兄ちゃん。よし。それじゃ、兄ちゃんは練習に戻るぞ。はい。頑張ってね、兄ちゃん。That <笑> conversation it's almost as funny as the fact that the kids are called Skip and Chip in the first place. <laughs> I love that interaction. Honestly, we can't trust the other players' abilities. We will play only between the three of us. But everyone has improved a lot. Aryan, open your eyes. They're nowhere near the level we need. We cannot afford to lose. In order to win, everyone has to keep to their position and fulfill their role. The others are useless. But every one of them tries so hard. Look how much Falco improved in only one week. I've not really seen the evidence of it, like we've just seen him in one cutscene and I haven't used him in gaming, but little by little, they're always improving. They've become pretty good already. But not good enough. But... Arian, get in the locker rooms, quick! What? You're the only person who could have stolen it. Admit it, Blashman. Stolen? Sippy's wallet. Apparently someone stole it. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Falco wouldn't do such a thing. You don't think so? I don't see it that way. It's not the first time he's stolen from someone. Based on all variables, you are the most suspicious, Flashman. It wasn't me. How do you feel about that? Zippy, your analysis is way too superficial and full of gaps. You aren't taking back anything you said. Who else would it have been? I want to ask Sherlock Holmes. Guys, calm down! We should concentrate on the game, not get distracted over other things that are happening. I guess that got through to them. <laughs> well done, Captain. Well, all right, there's maybe one person it's not got through to. <laughs> Shindo san. Tsugi. Kore ga hontou ni Inazuma Japan nano ka? Ore tachi wa Nippon daihyou mezashite chi no nijimu youna doryoku o shite kitan da. Sore nano ni. Nano ni. Finally, the day has come. 
Today is the first round of the FFI Vision 2 Asian Qualifiers. The game takes place at Saints Way Stadium. The train should be arriving soon. Go to the station. Yes. So we can actually go to Saints Way as a properly explorable area. Obviously the same place that we had the opening ceremony in and also various parts of the previous games. So we can actually go there before we can go to Ryman School, which is pretty funny. Don't worry, Falco. I have faith in you. For now, you should concentrate on the game. Ignore those other guys. Thanks, but you're the only one who trusts me. Everyone else doubts me. We'll convince them one way or another, Falco. They'll come around. If you say so. Thank you, Captain. And we can do stuff that we're definitely not going to do for, like, the entire game. But, you know, the, the secret link is a thing for connecting different versions of Big Bang and Supernova with each other to unlock various multiplayer features. Well, not even... Well, right, but one of them might be a multiplayer feature, but um, basically... Don't worry about it yet. I think at this point in the game you can link Big Bang with a copy of Supernova to get a really measly reward like a move manual for Doom Sword Slash or something like that. Um, and at this point, you know, it's not going to be long until we can scan QR codes to get considerably better rewards. So let's just not worry about that. For now, we're finally getting some introductions. I think Charisse Blossom has had a total of two lines in the game so far that I've had to voice. I mean... I don't really have to complain. I mean, she's uh, was always going to be one of my more challenging characters on the team to try and create an accurate voice for. Um, but yeah, so the match against Fire Dragon is quickly approaching, so we'll at least head to Saints Way Stadium. We're not going to actually do the match in this episode or anything, but the, the surrounding dialogue is already different to reflect, uh, you know, there's a match upcoming and it's everyone's wishing us good luck. The Inazuma 11 games have always been really, really good for updating practically all the NPC dialogue in an entire area to reflect um, the changes in, in scenarios. And Galaxy is no exception, so... Oh look, even the Garden Cafe has got writing on it, that's cool. So yeah, if you've, if you've got time to kind of leisurely just wander around and see what everyone's saying, like this, this couple that's staring along the, uh, the pitch, She's not that interested in football, but hey, she might watch it. Um, it's always good to just wander around and have a chat with everyone, because it's one of the more underappreciated aspects of, of Inazuma. Like, remember in Chrono Stones? Um, apparently you can go back to Grimwell after you've... Uh, at three different stages of just rescuing King Arthur's time. Like, again, that's not going to make much sense if you haven't played Chrono Stones, but the amount of times that dialogue just updates itself in this game, it's brilliant. So we'll have a proper wander around Saints Way Stadium, um, which we have to access via the train now. So you can buy your train's tickets properly um, from the train station. And this can get us to uh, eventually Inazuma Town, but it's currently locked. We can go to Odaiba, as we're already in, or we can go to the Saints Way Stadium. Those are the only three things that are ever going to be on the train route. If anything, it's it's a bit of an inconvenience because if you're in Odaiba and you just want to get to any part of Ryman, then you have to board the train. But all right, let's go to Saints Way Stadium. But at least as, as one kind of perk, this is actually a brand new area. Saints Way never had a train station before. They could have pretended it was there all along and just hidden out of view, but no, they do actually pretend it's a... Well, they, they tell you that it's a brand new station in this area. What we got in there is a unique goal celebration, Clumsy Feet. You can also get a photograph of the phone booth. Keep an eye out for all treasure chests, because sometimes the ones in the overworld will just contain a goal celebration. And those are one of those things that you just don't really want to be without. Like, it's an entire goal celebration animation that you can get after scoring a goal. You just, yeah, you, some of them are really, really hidden, which is why I'm going to have to be quite thorough in looking around. Um to make sure we've got all of those. But there's the, the entrance. Everything else about the Saints Way Stadium looks practically the same, just with that new underground subway route. Um, now, you may want to also do a couple more random encounters before taking on Fire Dragon, because I don't know what level they are at the moment, and I wouldn't really know until I just go in and challenge them. 
I'll tell you what, this time we can have our armor fight demo, right? <laughs> Excuse to get a bit more e EXP while also just uh, admitting outright that um, I'm just going to cheat my, my way through this. I mean, we're playing against the cheesers, so it can't really, <laughs> can't really blame me for cheesing them. So I'm going to bring out Lancelot as a fighting spirit on its own. Uh, I'm going to do a block with the spirit. The power for that is looking like 69. If I did that for uh, while armor fight, it would maybe be a little bit lower. But I'll tell you what, I'll run into this. You see how by doing the block, I've lost a bit of FSP. So I've gone from 100 down to 80. Um, in fact, I'm going to charge again. Just to show that... Uh, you can either armor fly straight from the menu and make use of its features like the higher running speed and access to your full moveset, or you could bring out a regular spirit first, then switch to armor through the buttons in the right and then in the middle. Uh, and if I do it like this, I can swap from Lancelot to armor fight. You can't switch back though. If you are armor fight, you can't go back to regular spirits. If you want to make use of those high power shots like Atomic Harmonic and uh, Victor's equivalent Lancelot Lunge, then you've got to get up there with your regular spirit. But when I switched to Armor Fight, it actually healed about a third of my FSP gauge. Meant that if I'm using a bit of both, then I can make it last that little bit longer. And I can use Doom Sword Slash within my spirit so that I can contribute towards it leveling up a little bit. The more you use a move, uh, it will eventually level up. I want to try and get some practical examples of that soon. Uh, oh, but sorry, you know, his foot was hurting, so th the way in which we cheesed him uh, didn't count. The actual match will be in the stadium itself, but I'm just kind of wandering around here. Yun Li is the wind of Korea, and everyone can pronounce his name without any difficulty whatsoever. We've seen another silver chest in this. We have genuinely, I think, seen more silver chests than we have seen actual... <laughs> Regular blue chests, almost. Uh, let's bring out Arch Pegasus, because then we've at least shown all three of Ricardo, Victor, and Aaron's spirits. Um, and let's just go for his regular shooting move, Pegasus Punch. Because it's not like we can do it in the actual match against Fire Dragon. But it's exciting that we're going to be starting against Fire Dragon, because that's the exact same name of the, the Korean team from Inazuma 11-3, which were extremely significant. You know, that was the one with Aphrodite, Torch, and Gazelle on it, alongside their own brand new captain. Um, and it was one of the longest matches in the whole anime, and everyone just kind of loves that. So we've got a new generation Fire Dragon to take on. And, well, I, I hope they can at least attempt to compare in terms of uh, significance and interest. Um, yeah, so, uh, oof, we lost. My team level is now... I find the easiest way to check is actually within the save menu. Our team level is 4, so that is lower than Royal Academy was in the tutorial match. So maybe I'll just kind of aim to be about level 5-ish. Um, and then that will probably be good enough for Fire Dragon. I mean, I don't care if we're too under-leveled necessarily, because I'm sure we'll still be fine. But this is a good way to get some actual moves. Now, this was entirely missable if you just headed straight into the stadium, but Sonic Shot, Bouncing Bunny, and Heel Kick, none of these are especially good moves, but it's a way to, say, get a move onto Falco or any other member of the team. You know, if you gave one to Buddy Fury, then he's got a dribble and a shooting move to use out the gate. Uh, Bouncing Bunny, it's, it is a shame that Faye's move is so weak now. Power 40. But some of these dribbles could actually be really good. In fact, um, I was going to say Illusion Ball, I'll pick that up, but then again... I've got 870 prestige and Illusion Ball is 550, so that would be the only thing I bought if I were to buy from this shop. Guess I shouldn't have bought that cheese croissant, huh? That's that's coming back to bite me now. But yeah, you can even get kits. Uh, like, there's loads of boots and gloves here, and this could genuinely be useful out, right out of the gate. Give your, give your players that little bit more power. Sure, the, the early game equipment is going to be invalidated pretty early on and you'd probably be looking to replace it fairly soon but hey let's get the conversation topic on retro stuff while this uh, girl rambles about the car um and i always like to whenever i've got a conversation topic the the npc will actually disappear as soon as you leave the map so whatever they say on a second chat with them after you've got their conversation topic 
That's your only chance to hear it. Now we've got a gold chest. This game loves just throwing unopenable chests at me. It's really quite sad. Um, but hey-ho, this is actually quite a cool uh, encounter because uh, one of the people in it is Amy. I think most of the play people in this best friends chat actually is made up of Arian's real classmates. I know that Amy is one because I even gave her a spotlight segment in the Inazuma 11 iceberg. Um, let's show up a bit more of armor flying because again, this is here purely to help you cheese uh, the easy matches and not for use in the actual story ones. So let's just say, yeah, we can armor fly, use easy breezy at next to no cost. I say next to no cost, it has, has still cost us at least a bit. Um, I'm going to keep Easy Breezy on Ari, and you, you're technically quite encouraged to replace it and swap it for something better, but I'll just I'll just hang on to it. Uh, so that's two Easy Breezies and one Zephyr shot, and our FSP has barely been consumed at all, because we're using some of the cheapest moves in the game, so Arian can still armor fly to do basically anything he wants. Um, armor flying has been nerfed to an extent in this game where uh, some of the more expensive moves in the game will actually have quite a visible effect on your FSP gauge. You know, it used to be in Chrono Stones, you could spam the most expensive and powerful moves in the game while armor fired, and it would basically come at no cost to you. But now it is balanced in a way where, yes, the power of the move will actually uh, vary how much of your FSP it takes away. And sometimes it can deplete pretty quickly, but overall, it's still quite clearly one of the best uh, gimmicks in the game to make use of. We've armor fired Victor, we've armor fired Arian, so let's just... Armify Victor, win this match, and then in the next one, uh, we'll actually go and take on Fire Dragon to close off the chapter, because, I mean, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> you know, we've just met our team, we've put a slight bit of emphasis onto Falco out of everybody, you know, he's improving, um, which we've seen some, somewhere, somehow, um... I'm actually just going to go for a Lancelot lunge here to see how powerful it is. FSP is 70. Again, if this didn't score for any reason, then he'd at least have his spirit up. I could armor fight and heal up a bit and then go for a Doom Dive Drive instead. But obviously, yes, this will go in. It wasn't as strong as the Maestro that we did in a previous episode, but I think Ricardo, uh, I think Victor's just low on stamina because we've not been healing in between these matches. So, yeah, part three, the match where Tail of the Toaster just takes on random... Uh, <laughs> random NPCs at Saints Way to level up just that little bit more. But hey, it gave us a manual for Sonic Shot. Um, so sorry, Dodge, you won't be needed on uh, Inazuma National. You know what's funny? Dodge goes to Lunacy Military Prime... Military Merchant Prime something academy. Um, we do have a member of Lunacy on our team, and it's this guy. Sorry, Dodge, you didn't make it. Just some basketball player from your school got picked instead. It's, it's really quite amusing to me. Um, but yes, so here we are at the entrance to Saints Way. Uh, we will call it here, and in the next episode, we're going to take on Fire Dragon and see if we can already clear Chapter 1 before we've even like done anything with our other players or even visited... Ryman. <laughs> Ryman School. But yes, next time we'll head in there and see what awaits us. TTFN.